Why? Why? Why here? Why here? Why? Why South Bend? Why South Bend? Why South Bend? I'm delighted to be able to take you on this tour of our community. Uh, a lot of things that we want to highlight today as we drive around the city, uh, the University of Notre Dame, Innovation Park, Ignition Park. As we come down to Notre Dame Avenue, we'll turn on to campus and head toward the famous Golden Dome. What has really been exciting over the last number of years is the university's strong commitment to research and development here. The new Stimson Remick Hall for Engineering with a huge clean room in it that is uh, a great investment on the part of the university. And that was really one of the key components in Notre Dame being named the Midwest Institute for Nanoelectronics Discovery. The seed, the plant, the greenhouse. It's a continuum. We're next. It starts right here. This is next. This is next. Nanotechnology is definitely going to change our lives in the future. It's going to change our lives in energy. It's going to have huge changes in the world of medicine, and it's going to change the world of electronics. We were awarded the Midwest Institute for Nanoelectronics Discovery, or MIND, a uh, year and a half ago. This validates uh, the strength of our program that we've had for almost 20 years. The support is coming from a consortium of six major companies that do most of the semiconductor fabrication. MIND is one of four centers that are coordinating the regional work that's going on across the United States. There will be many new ideas upon which companies can be built that do things that we don't imagine even today. There's a real path for this creativity. The ideas are germinated on campus, uh, they're worked on at a very high level, uh, and then they move forward to a place where an idea really has an opportunity for commercialization. Uh, that's the step across the street then to Innovation Park. Innovation Park is a transformation space where you take the theory of new research and transform it into a real business venture. Businesses and investors need proof that an idea has true merit. At Innovation Park, we work closely with the technology entrepreneur to come up with that proof of principle that will satisfy not only the investors, but the customers of that eventual technology. Innovation. Innovation. Innovation, Innovation is in our DNA. It's in our DNA. It's in our DNA. Innovation is in our DNA. In many cases, a university and a research park or a city sort of operate in the throat over the fence mode. In this case, we have a real genuine partnership with the city of South Bend. The city of South Bend has been a true partner in this endeavor from the very conception of Innovation Park. What we envision happening here is that as some of our ideas begin to bear fruit, that there will be clustering of a whole ecosystem of supporting businesses, jobs, new ideas. We help turn ideas into real businesses that can be sustainable. All of the research on campus, uh, we know that that's the critical first step. It provides the spark and the ingenuity, the creativity, uh, the beginning. But there's a critical next step too, and that's the commercialization of products. And the city wants to be a full partner in that. And we have committed to invest $50 million to assist in commercialization of these new ideas here at the University of Notre Dame. And really the key location for that will be at Ignition Park, where uh, the city will be working to invest in uh, specialized equipment or perhaps uh, looking at the possibility of uh, additional clean room space that can be rented out, uh, but ways that we can be supportive of private sector initiatives to create new products that will be constructed and built here in the city of South Bend. We're tech friendly. Tech friendly. Tech friendly. We're business friendly. Traditionally, cities are involved in infrastructure. What does business need? They put in water and sewer, they zone land. One of the things business needs is the last mile. We believe that modern cities, uh, high-tech cities, have to be involved in other ways. In the city of South Bend, we've put in place the Metronet, a 50-mile loop of dark fiber that connects businesses and research centers and institutions of higher ed throughout the community. Dark fiber is raw potential. It opens up a wide variety of opportunities and options that a company can maintain, manage, and control on its own. It's unlimited bandwidth, it's carrier neutral, it really is bringing down the price of broadband to make businesses successful, to make your research easier to do. 
The research emphasis has great impact in the area. We get tech. Our community said we want a trained, skilled, technology-driven workforce. How can we prepare our students to make technology an integral part of how we live and how we work? We get tech. We got it. We teach tech. We really get it. Technology is here to stay. There's a highly charged group of young professionals in the greater South Bend area who really are taking an active role in our community. My wife and I moved here 37 years ago. We thought we'd just be here for a couple of years, but we really fell in love with South Bend. People move back here because they can slow down, live better, and make a difference. Young professionals see that you get more with less here. It's been a great place to raise our family. We have grandchildren that are growing up here. They're coming back because they want to be back. They're great neighbors and friends. They're coming back because it feels like home. Lots of people have found that. South Bend is a great place to call home. Throughout South Bend's history, ideas are always changing tomorrow. That's happening now and will happen to an even greater extent as we move forward with Innovation Park and Ignition Park. Research on. Innovation on. Education on. Partnerships on. Business on. Livability on. South Bend is booming. <laughs>